Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's such a lovely day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you today? Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Sylvia Smith of Incline Training Consultants Limited. How are you today? Today is Wednesday, the 22nd of August, 2018. I just don't know where the time is going. What is time? Yeah, I'm not gonna go down that road. It's a bit of a big question. But anyway, lovely to be with you this morning. Um, I regularly jump on here for a quick chat quite often in the mornings. Uh, yesterday I managed to do a bit of vlogging in the afternoon, which was kind of cool. Um, so yeah, what's happening today? Well, I'm on my way to the gym. I'll take you along with me. And uh, I was quite pleased with myself last night because I didn't overeat. Nicely gassed up and on my way to the gym. Today is a kind of cool day uh, work-wise, no traveling today. Um, I'll be working from home, got quite a bit of administration to plow through. Start off with the gym, uh, I will feel physically a bit more refreshed and um, I mean you know the conversation uh, we had yesterday or the conversation I had with you yesterday was all about prioritizing you know, your health and well-being health and fitness um, I had a lengthy conversation with a friend of mine last night uh, we were talking about you know lifestyle issues particularly nutrition and we were discussing some of the benefits of uh, natural herbs and uh, plants and uh, particularly we were talking about uh, dandelion and the properties health properties of that and that particular plant and he sent me a really, really useful video which kind of summarizes some of the benefits of that particular plant, dandelion. Um, good for all sorts of things, blood cleanser, um, good for the liver. Um, I may check some out on, on Amazon, they may well have have it for sale but apparently I mean you know apparently dandelion grows in our gardens we assume they're weeds but we kill them but apparently they're really good so you know I mean all these things can't help can't harm I mean I kind of feel that the world that we're living in today everything it would seem has some kind of potential adverse effect and the conclusion uh, my friend and I came to was that all one can do is perhaps not overindulge um, in any particular thing in terms of what we put into our bodies. <sighs> so I don't know. There's a part of me that feels that you can be as careful as you can be and um, you know you're still potentially going to run into something that will get you but nevertheless we've got to try our best that's part of what it's about living I guess um, what else has been going on I, I kind of need to timestamp I suppose this video this is the time when the Ferrari with um, Jamie Oliver and 
my sister was saying to me, you should blog about it. You know, I think it's, it's kind of amusing, but it's not something that I feel terribly passionate about. It's to do with his jerk rice. Um, you know, and, and he's being accused of cultural appropriation. Um, and my niece explained to me very clearly what cultural appropriation is. And yeah, I think that she's right. And certainly when, the way it was explained to me, when other communities take on um, things that belong to you, uh, to your community and benefit from it. That's in summary what that's, that, what that's about. So that was all very kind of amusing in terms of the responses, particularly from, from, from black comedians, which um, hilarious, Gina Ashere, this other guy that, I don't actually know his name, but he's always on, um, on my social media and um, Judy Love. Um, so they, they're just hilarious, the way that they kind of, the take they have on it. But there are others who are obviously uh, more serious and more angry. Oh yes, and um, White Yardy, I think he's another one who's um, commented about it as well. Um, this is also the time when um, I understand Trinidad and Tobago suffered uh, a huge earthquake which shook the shook the um, shook the island and caused some damage to buildings, roads, premises. You know, here we go again. This is the time of, this is the hurricane season and, you know, that part of the world is, is vulnerable. And when I say that part of the world, I mean the Caribbean, which is where um, my parents hail from. And it's frightening and worrying, really, that these things are kind of going on and sort of upsetting the peace that, that I guess people strive to achieve uh, on the islands. So prayers go out to Trinidad and Tobago and um, hopefully there'll be no further um, tremors or earthquakes um, during the season for them. So prayers to you guys, prayers for you guys I should say. So those are the things that are on my mind this morning. Uh, I'll take you to the gym. If you want to continue following me, please like, comment, subscribe by pressing the red notification button below. Um, I think while I'm in the gym, I may listen to a podcast if I glean any useful information uh, from any podcast I listen to. I will share it with you on my return journey. Okay, let me finish the drive. now. Oh gosh, I'm looking, looking a little tidy, don't I? Good grief, look at this. Get yourself sorted out, so. Anyway, I'm in the studio and uh, I'm just about to prep for the show. It's going to be mostly music um, as it's carnival. We'll do a little bit of history on, on carnival, where it came from and all that, but uh, for the most part, it's going to be good music. <laughs> 